Hello everyone. Today is finally Friday. Um it's Friday, September 30th, 2022 at 6:47 a.m. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I got a few hours of sleep last night, but I still need more sleep. I'm still feeling the sleep-deprived feeling, but I got to go try to get a shower today. (coughs) Um, So... I mean, I wish I had more sleep, but I guess after the video that I did, the last video that I did about the Henry guy yesterday, if it weren't for that, I probably could have fell asleep earlier, but last night, <coughs> excuse me, I, um, I had to experienced some, um, I guess for the past few nights, I guess, I experienced some, um, GERD symptoms, like as if they're trying to flare back up, I guess because it's the way that I've been, you know, forced to eat, I guess, because, um, me having limited funds and, you know, I had to ask people for help with money for food to eat, and so during that time, I can't really get to eat the healthiest, you know. But it's funny. I thought about the other day that juices and smoothies off the surface, you think, damn, six and seven dollars, that's expensive. But then again, it's not expensive, but it's hard to get access to. And it's not really that convenient, you know. So, um. But the thing is, yes, like I don't get the convenience, and they don't have that many smoothie places here. Even in New Orleans, you, you know, well, they had Smoothie King all over New Orleans. But, um, but like certain, like more private or local <clears throat> smoothie and juice places. It's hard. I mean, they didn't have that many. But um, here, it's like they only got a couple of them. They had more, but during the C-19, ever since then, you know, they shut down a lot more smoothie and juice places. And the fake Everman down the street on Garden Street, 315 West Garden Street, you know, I'm wrongfully banned for for the rest of my life. And they have smoothies and juices and stuff for like five or six dollars. But I I can't go there for the rest of my life because of the homeless situation. Can't go to fake bodacious no more. I think they have acai bowls or something. So, but... Like at these restaurants, as I said, there'd be a salad. You'll it'll be a salad. You'll be lucky if you get spinach, but they'll have something like bib lettuce or whatever lettuce, bacon, blue cheese, candy pecans, tomatoes, and drizzle with um like balsamic vinegar or something for like seventeen ninety nine. So. And then, yeah, I mean, so I, it's it's very hard, you know, when me being homeless on the streets. And guess what? They damn sure don't serve salads at homeless soup kitchens where I get kicked out of and banned from or where they pick arguments or fights with me. And um, last I knew I was kicked out of and banned from freaking um, loaves and fishes. So, I mean, 
I had to resort to eating out at restaurants. And I, as I say, I try to keep it to $10, but they're raising the prices on everything. And I've been having to do this since 2019. But when I was living in New Orleans, I had food stamps before I became homeless. So the food stamps was able to continue. I had food stamps when I first got here, but it was like, I don't remember, like $15 and and $15 a month. And that, it took hell to go through that. And so, you know, Waterfront Mission, they play with my mail. They lie and say, oh, you don't have no mail, this, that, whatever. So um, certain mail won't even go... They don't want to bring it to general delivery at the post office. So I have to go through Waterfront Mission, and they play with my mail and lie and say I don't have mail. So it's like a lot of stuff. Excuse me. I can't even get regular mail anymore. So what the hell? I mean, being targeted, you can't even. They make sure you can't get to live a normal life. You can't get to live a normal life being targeted. Everything got to be weird and different and awkward. They manipulate things to where you have to be forced to spend or waste, I'll say waste more money, unnecessary money. Like say, for example, if they give you hell on the buses that can freaking cost 85 cents or in some cases a dollar ten for me because I'm disabled or 85 cents for me because I'm disabled. What, what happened was is the bus drivers give me hell, bully me, pick on me. Then I have to resort to taking a damn cab or Uber, which would cost like 30 freaking dollars to get where I got to go. See what I mean? You know, and that was a point in time I was freaking wrongfully banned from riding the buses for a while. So, in Alex Dupree, in another situation, he wanted to make sure that I would, he, he acted like he was trying to make it like he wanted to make sure he could get me banned from riding the buses. He ran me out of Pensacola. There go that perp with that bike. What you doing over here? And he, he got like a red, um, a red hat on. So tomorrow is October 1st. I thought I would be in a permanent home by then. I thought I would have a job that would help me with a permanent home. I mean, help me with enough money to get a permanent home. So I'm screaming out for help, you know, with my fundraiser at least. Screaming out for help. And, you know, trying to do the short stories and stuff, and blog or whatever, for a living, as a way to try to make money for a living, I'm not trying to blow up, sell out, and become huge and famous or nothing. I'm just trying to live and survive day to day. I mean, it's like people get to do busking, no matter how bad their music is, as long as you got a freaking dog with you, oh, you'll get loads of money. But, um... But, you know, I'm just trying to survive day to day for, like, food, toiletries, laundry, transportation, new clothes if I need it. I, you know, also pretty soon going to need another big coat. And I'm going I'm to need to get me, like, some more pairs of pants, more like sweatpants. And, um, because... Because it's getting cold. <clears throat> I'm going to need more sweatpants. <clears throat> more sweatpants and a couple of more hoodies. I think I need more bras. And more socks. More bras and socks. And, um... Yeah. But, you know, I, I, I be feeling like... In person, I feel like I don't have the courage to ask nobody... You know, I just went to the thrift store and bought me, like, three more pairs of pants and three three more shirts. But I would try to look for a hoodie 
But the only one, like, I mean, I tried to look for another hoodie. But the only one that was in my size, it was 2X, and it was a red hoodie. And so due to the gang stalking, you know, I didn't want to. I mean, if I had to buy it, then, you know, I'll just keep this green one. And But I, I need definitely need to get me a bigger coat, a bigger coat. Like, I don't know. Today they said the temperature's like 56 degrees, but why last night and this morning did not feel as cold as the night before and yesterday morning? So, um, well, I guess I'm going to get me, I'm going to wear the pants um, today that, I'm gonna wear the pants today that um one of the pairs of pants that I got from the thrift store. It's hard to get it's hard looking for clothes at the thrift store. But um yeah. And also I, I probably need to go and look through what I might have at, at the storage unit. I could see when before I went by Trisha and when I got the tax refund check, I got me some more bra socks. And like, as I said, a lot of stuff I was forced to leave behind at her house before tr- more trouble escalates. And it was like trying to flee a burning. I had to get the fuck out of there. It was like just as bad as like leaving a burning building. I had to get out of Dodge and had to leave a lot of stuff behind. Um, So... Trisha knew she knew what she was about to freaking do or what she was trying to do. And now she wants to pretend like she's a fake angel and a fake saint and try to falsely make me out to be the villain. And she straight up told a whole bunch of damn lies on me. So Christian, huh? So, um, and she's, she's also sitting there wasting her time trying to discredit me and gaslight use projections at all the narc tactics all the perp tactics so um yeah and even some of my favorite and most comfortable clothes i had to leave behind too i even had to leave behind my big jacket at her house and now if she had anything still at her house that belonged to me i wouldn't want to take it because i'm pretty sure that um she probably put witchcraft and all kinds of curses on my stuff. So I wouldn't dare take anything back from her house. You, you know, um, so now, I, I mean, I'm still trying to recover and rebuild and regain some of the stuff that I lost at her house. You know, a few hundred dollars worth of stuff. And I had just bought some stuff like new socks new underclothes, period, you know, and, um, like, I bought clothes, and, I mean, so, I mean, um, as I said, I'm still not going to talk, I'm not going to say the specific number of the amount of tax refund that I had because of the online gang stalkers wanting to dissect and, try to calculate everything and try to guess this and oh she should bitch stay out my fucking business i'm talking about all you online perps you know oh 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 well candy and they're so busy harping on oh candy wasted her whole entire tax refund on you know mp3 players and stuff like that and which is not true i spent a little bit you know some of the money on you know, MP3 players, but that's for a necessity. That is for, um, you know, a necessity for medical reasons. I actually turned out to like this MP3 player better than the Naxa MP3 players or the Craig MP3 players. 
I thought I, because I, I mean, this was a different brand, but I told y'all the gang stalking game that Amazon played to manipulate me and to have to be forced to waste more money. I could have got some MP3 players for cheaper, but they manipulated and played all kinds of games. <clears throat> I already explained that earlier this year, but I already had <clears throat> these, um, Skull Candy earbuds, seven ninety nine plus tax. Skull Candy, but they're cheap. I hate the I hate the symbolism because it looked like a demon on here. I hate the logo or the symbolism. It looked like a demon on here, but it's all I could afford. And, it, and it's, I mean, I mean, you know. So when I had the job at Seville Quarter, I bought like probably twenty of them, twenty pairs, and they don't last super long. So, um, but yeah, Trisha lied and said I, she lied on me and said that I bought a whole bunch of expensive Bluetooth headphones. I never used Bluetooth ever in my life. I never used Bluetooth. So, um, but these I use for the, um, waterfall sounds, waterfall sounds to, um, Block out loud noise from the noise campaign and noise harassment. And also, um, I use it to listen to my Christian songs. I was listening to secular songs, but, you know, I've been tempted to go back and to listen to secular music, but I've been battling against it. And, um... And I also listen to Bible scripture. It's more convenient, I guess, to listen. To, and, but I still got to try to discipline myself. But listen to Bible scriptures on there. Like, listen to chapters of the Bible on there, you know, to try to have me more disciplined, you know, in engaging in, you know, trying to serve the Lord, even though, I never said I was perfect, and I know um, certain sins I feel weak about, you know. I feel weak and helpless with certain sins, but it's it's funny because people want to talk about spiritual warfare with the targeting and the gang stalking, but, you know, they they want you to be strong and shut up and ignore your gang stalking. You know, they want you to shut up and ignore the gang stalking. But, um, and they want you to be isolated and go through this alone. And, but then they talk about spiritual warfare. But then the other side, people say that suffering as a Christian, that you need to, that you need to go to a local church and fellowship with other Christians. But nowadays, these brainwashed false Christians, they will persecute you and call you crazy and kick you out and ban you from the damn church. I cannot believe that I was bullied, stalked, followed, and physically harassed um, at Olive Baptist Church and then falsely accused of being a terrorist when it was freaking 30-something degrees. It was under 40 degrees, and I was bundled up. And they harassed me because they didn't want me to wear a hood on top of my head. And they said, well, do you see anybody else dressed like this? But I didn't even know there was a freaking dress code. I'm I'm freaking new. It's my very first time. Like, what the hell? You, you know, it's freaking cold. So I feel like if you got to have, like, a dress code to serve the Lord, that's cult-like. I mean, as long as the person ain't naked or or, or something like that. They got people who go to church dressed immodest. And certain churches don't tell them, you know, they don't say, oh, well, you can't come in here. They might just preach a sermon and mention in a sermon, oh, yeah, like that woman that's wearing high high shorts over there or something like that. But most people don't try to wear high shorts to church. But I've seen it. You know, high shorts showing their ass and, you know, being dressed in skank. Or high skirts, you know, look like as if they go to church trying to look for, try, like, say they go to church dressing the same way they would go, try, 
trying to go t- go to the club or go to a, a a bar or something, you know. But that, I was freaking bundled up. I was freezing cold. And they harassed me and bullied me out of the church at Olive Baptist Church off of North Davis and Olive. And they act, these churches, they act just like the rest of the world. So they even got the same rules and laws as the rest of the world and not the rules and laws of the Bible. You know, it wasn't a sin for me to go to church with the hood over my head trying to stay freaking warm. And you falsely accused me of being a terrorist. You bully, harass, and stalk me and falsely accused me of being a terrorist just because I had a freaking hood over my head trying to stay warm. And this was like the beginning of 2020, like January 2020, this happened. And I bust, I mean, yeah, because I walked like at least two hours or so to walk from Inslee First Baptist Church before they wrongfully banned me from there. <clears throat> Excuse me, Inslee First Baptist Church all the way. I walked all the way from there to our Baptist Church and thought that I can, you know, get some services, help, support, or thought I can join a new church. And they had a church called Smyrna Baptist Church on Pensacola Boulevard. They um had an abusive, cruel usher. Um, I for, oh yeah, I was like trying to read. I I picked up um a King James Bible to read, or or I picked picked up the a Bible, trying to figure out if it was King James. And and the 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 usher he got mad and jerked the jerked the Bible out of my hand and put it back in where the, in the back of the pew, like in front of me. And I'm like, well, what the hell kind of weird ass churches are these? You know, they just treat me weird. So, um, you can't even go to church cause they gang stalk at churches that you go to. And then they want to try to say, oh, there's go find a local church. There's no, no, there's no excuse. You know what? If you're a member of a church, they won't. The member, the, if you've been a member of a church for like two years, they won't even try to help you out of homelessness. Now, like they give zero. I'm gonna say it like that. Like they give zero fucks about you. They wouldn't even help you with whatever you need. So, um, these churches are Masonic sellout satanic churches they do not care they turn away the poor and homeless now they care about riches and status and popularity and they run by narcs and so also when i um when i was at Olive baptist church they had this white female witch perp who had they had a whole bunch of empty rows and seats and this bastard she come and sit like two seats away from me with a deceitful looking smile on her face and wearing red I'm like, why you want to sit so close to me? You you sit like two seats away from me in the same row as me, and they got a whole bunch of empty of all the empty seats. You want to come sit right next right next to me, for what? It's just weird. I mean, the the, the um security guard at the church was you know harassing me, and then they had somebody who acted like a regular church member who acted like he thought he had authority over me. And I had all that on film, all that on camera, and Star Bricker wrongfully got the other Psych World channel taken down. So all that evidence is gone, but I remember what happened, and so does God knows what happened. So can't even go to church. And the 501c3 Masonic Satanic sellout churches and they're not speaking out against the truth. They they would rather glorify and support football on Sunday, and be ready, yeah, be rubbing their hands together, being ready for the Saints game. You know, uh, they want to they want to be talking about how to, oh I can't wait till church. Even the pastors talking about oh, I can't wait till church service is over so I can go watch football. 
and all they want to do is talk about prostitutes and pimps. And all they want to only pray for the prostitutes and pimps. But you won't pray for targeted individuals. You won't pray for MK Ultra sufferers. You you won't pray for people in bondage against their will. You won't pray for poor and homeless, elderly, disabled, pregnant, um, children, the vulnerable in society. All you care about is prostitutes and pimps and football. And that's what a lot of these doggone churches. Because they say that the, um, the church, you know, the body of Christ is more like a prostitute lukewarm prostitute, lukewarm spiritual prostitutes, and that these pastors are nothing but money-hungry pimps. But people are afraid to speak out against them because they're fake position of power and fake pseudo, narcissistic fake pseudo authority. Nobody, who's speaking out against these mega pastors pimping, pimping the poor for money and keeping you poor and homeless? And they had a church, I forgot the name of it, that supposedly feed the homeless on Sundays, they ran me out of there too. Um, it's close to Lowe's. It's like across the street, close to Lowe's and Fishes. And on Sunday, and and, and so I, I said, I remember I told you I'm not going to be arguing and fighting with homeless perps three times a day or every meal. So that's why I do what I do. You know, they run me out of everywhere, bully me out of everywhere. I, I mean, I got to deal with if I'm standing in the soup kitchen line, I got to deal with homeless perps coughing on me, smoking cigarettes around me, blasting loud music from their phone near me, uh, or they touch me, get too close to me, or they be bed bug infested, make me feel uncomfortable. And a lot of them, they'll cuss you out, pick fights with you, meddle in your business. And I'm, you know, this is how I got to freaking live. So... That church over there try to say that we deserve to be poor in homelessness. I mean, poor, that we deserve to be poor and homeless as punishment for not tithing to their church. Or some, something along, like that, that church that's, I forgot, it's a big, a big light yellow building, I think. And it's a black church, too. It's a black church. So... Oh, these freaking nets. So, um, I won't be, I, I mean, I don't know. I might be able to get some writing in today. I don't know. I mean, you know what? I'm feeling like emotionally, because after what happened, the couple of things that made me mad yesterday, and a few things I've been having anxiety about, I'm feeling emotionally depressed and don't even feel like I want to go over and take a shower. So, um, and then I get harassed, stalked, and abused over there too. So it's like I got to tread lightly and um, be very careful. And this lady... She's supposed to be a fake Christian evangelist. And um, she she liked to bully, harass, and laugh at me and try to make a fool out of me I, under the guise of pretending to be fake friendly. But I can tell she'd be perping me and trying to make a fool out of me. And per, But per, she pretends to be fascinated with certain things that I do. And and come to find out, I saw her. She was riding in the same car with her daughter, driving a red car with one head. It was red or white car with one head. Like, and I'm like, no. You, you know that it's like Miss Vivian. No, not you. I'm like, and I'm like that that that. I mean, and and then she would do stuff like keep harassing me and think it's funny, bully, harass, and laugh at me and think it's funny. And then when I would be sleep deprived and don't want to be bothered, it seemed like she would be just freaking loud mouth on purpose. And then she would try to mock and mimic me and lie and say, well, oh, I'm sleep deprived too and stuff like that. 
you know, so she'll pretend that her experiences are the same as mine. But she's rich and live a rich black lady. She's rich and living the high life. So it's hard for me to try to uh, avoid her and stay away from her. But they had this lady who got mad at me a couple of years ago just because I cleared my throat. And I see her a couple of years later, and she, she thinks she got the authority to punish me with the silent treatment. I'm like, bitch, you, I didn't tell her to her face, but I'm actually like, damn, bitch, you hate me. You still hate me three years later just because I cleared my throat? Like, damn. That's a freaking, I'm like, you too old for that shit. You don't like, you in your fucking 60s or, or something like that. Like, what the hell is, and that ain't no reason to grudge against somebody two or, two or three years later. That's why I say people are being fucking weird. So what time is it? 7.17. I got to go now. And I got to pee really bad. So, um. Thanks for listening to my crazy ass ramble on. So, um, I guess I need to push for trying to get help, like with the fundraiser, hoping to, to get like motel or permanent housing or something. If I can get help with the fundraiser to try to get into a place and be safe, warm and dry because it's getting cold and the weather is changing. So, I'll see y'all in a few minutes.